<laughs> Good day, friends. Welcome aboard. <laughs> uh, we're, uh, it's a bit of a late maintenance on the my snowblower, the uh, blowing part of the little tractor. Uh, it's for winter, and uh, I had some parts ordered, eh? And I didn't really want to take it apart prior to. Uh, I knew there was something wrong, and I'll show you these. <laughs> These are the parts that I I, I got. They're uh, it's a kind of a bushing affair. They call it a bearing, but it's this is not a bearing. This is a bushing, and uh, it's a Toro uh, twenty slash zero nine eight zero. Two of them it cost me all of about uh, uh, <laughs> seventy bucks, I think. I believe, uh, if I remember right. Uh, I'll show you. Hang on. I'll point you in the right direction there. See, uh, right there. Oops. Yeah, somebody's zooming in, eh? <laughs> we'll back her up a little bit here. Hang on. Don't get excited. See right here? I'll try to show you. Watch this. See that? That's just that. Uh, it's got the whole weight of the auger on those bushings. And uh, these ha don't have no grease, grease zerts, eh? So uh, they don't have no grease zerts, so uh, uh, they just wear with time. I'm going to take them apart. I'm going to see if I can get. Well, first, I, I'm going to show you what a brand new one looks like. And uh, then uh, we'll show you with this. With the, see? It's, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, triangle. Triangle. I don't know what it says. Oh, see, these don't even turn. This is a pressed affair, eh? And it's a uh, boom, that's it, that's all. 082417. Oh, that's a number. See, those come from somewhere else, eh? <laughs> Maybe with this number, I'll be able to. Uh, <laughs> Maybe uh, I figure next time I don't have to uh, get them from the from the same bunch, because uh, just because Toro sells it does Toro don't meet don't make like they buy their engines from somebody and they buy something from somebody else. They put it together. Uh, probably contracts do on top of that. They probably have contracts to put it together. And then they sell it under their name brand, but uh, they don't make bushings and uh, all these little pulleys and all that. They, they're not, uh, <laughs> they don't have a uh, big, big manufacturing, eh? What they do is they put these things together. Okay, I just wanted to show you. I'm going to research this. 084171. I'm gonna see what <laughs> what's uh, what this is all about. Somebody else makes this. Uh, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> but see, I'm gonna show you this like this. Oh, hang on now. Okay, can I know like this? Can can you see? There is a part that's walled out more. <laughs> well, hang on, I'll take it apart <laughs> I'll take it apart and then because <laughs> this is the, doing it the hard way eh? doing it the hard way and well I've been known to do things the hard way <laughs> two times so uh, I don't know if I can set, set you up here can you instead of seeing my big belly can you see down here I'm gonna uh, somehow I'm gonna 
I'm gonna try and take this apart and you can watch me if you have the courage it doesn't take long eh and then then I'll be able to show you exactly whoa, whoa. I'll be able to show you exactly what uh, how this is put together okay. it's uh, no big miracle eh? it's uh, <laughs> it's just a machine a man put it together so I'm well hey that's one of my models eh if a man puts it together this man can take it apart <laughs> there okay I got rid of this baby <clears throat> okay I'm gonna this here see this folks uh, whoops hang on see this right up in this part here it's all it's all a real and then the, it's loose hang on I'm gonna show you down here see that <laughs> see that's like this look at that slack it's weird this doesn't even fit in there hang on I'm gonna check to see if the new one. <laughs> oh well. Ooh. See it's got just a little bit of slack, eh? Perfect. I'm gonna put some kind of some kind of good grease in there. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna put some kind of good grease in there before I put this together. The this part here goes towards the auger. Oh yeah. And then there's a washer in here. See, this here. Or is it the other way? Or is it this way? Yes. It's this way. Oh, yes. And this goes... Oops. See, it's this way. The, the big round part goes on this side. And then the washer fits on the brass and badoom that's it so it's easy eh <laughs> well we're gonna put this back together and uh well hang on i don't know if you can can you see here there here there everywhere <laughs> hang on <laughs> Ooh, this. <laughs> okay. Ma, okay. That's where. <laughs> that's where I want to see. Oops. Cause. Okay. There. Not pretty, but uh, nobody said it had to be. There. Ha. I'm gonna put. See, so the big side, the big side is on the inside of the blower. Well, big side. Like there's a flared part on the bushing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Houston, I think we got a problem. Just dropped. A, oh, I can see it. I think. I think I can see it. No, I can't. Okay. Well, that's uh, uh, that's. Uh, I don't know. Seven six seats. Could that be? No. Too big, eh? Too big. Yes. Ah. Uh, it just goes to show you, eh? You gotta be careful when you're putting something 
I don't know if I got some of these uh, nuts. The, uh, yes, I do. Right here. <laughs> it's always handy to have. See, these are the lock, quarter inch locking nuts in the private inventory. Hopefully, that's not a metric uh, bolt. It could be two way. <laughs> These are probably stainless steel, too, but uh, hey, beggars can't be choosers, eh? Okay, now let's see if we're lucky. Badang! Ha! <laughs> we are. Okay. Hey? Now don't drop the next one. <laughs> Because, hey, here when you drop something on the ground, well, it's not on the ground, it's in the, it's in, in the flurry, <laughs> in the flurry of things. And uh, you might as well just abandon the idea of finding it, because uh, it'll never come to fru fruition, fruitation. <laughs> Okay, there. See, that looks like a success story to me. If ever I seen one, I gotta put a real good grease in that. It's funny they wouldn't have made a dessert. But, anyways, okay. So, I, what I'm gonna do is, uh, if I don't wanna show you how I put that on the blower. Like, I mean, you know, like, uh, you surely. Sure, sure, not surely, but surely I've seen this before, eh? Uh, now, eh? Maybe I shouldn't have tied it though. Because uh, then the little ball has to, has to, Wiggle, eh? <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna hang in there. I'm gonna go get some grease. Now uh, I know you can't see too good there, but this is as tight as it can be. It's uh, <laughs> just like you, <laughs> not not like this. Uh, you see this here? How wallered out that is. It's, uh, I guess it's got some mileage, eh? So, it's been around, ah, uh, this, somewhere around 20 years, so. Ah, uh, see, I wanted to, well, I have it recorded on. I hope the next piece is, uh, <laughs> I can see the numbers on it. I, I wanted to write them down. Eh? <laughs> I wanted to white, white. <laughs> I wanted to write the numbers down on the piece here, right? Eh? And uh, but uh, needless to say, <laughs> good old, good old faithful. Uh, okay, uh, hang on. I just got an idea. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna go in the house with. Where is it? Uh, before, before I make promises, I better check to see <laughs> see if this one's got numbers on it and if it does uh, okay zero eight two four one seven one zero eight two four one seven one I'm gonna go check that I'll come back in the garage. I'm just gonna go check that to see if I can get this from somebody else or I'm stuck. Ah, I'm sure I can press out this brass bushing but then to get a machinist to make me a brass bushing, <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna be gaining that but I, I could probably get this from somebody else. I'll check, I'll let you know. Who is on them bushings? Uh, first of all, that number doesn't come up nowhere. Uh, this is a 
it says here uh, triangle Osh gosh, Trang that's probably the company that makes these. They be, may be making them for Toro. Triangle Oshkosh. Anyways, if there's something else, if there's another number, it's pressed inside under the uh, under the brass. So I found some brass brass bushings like this here. Okay. And they tell you like the length and the shoulder here and the inside diameter, the outside diameter. Uh, all of about seven bucks, okay? So for 35 bucks, I can buy the whole bushing, all pressed. And so if I just go, it's just like uh, I thought I'm thinking of this as a, I'm thinking out loud, that's what I'm doing. Uh, if I like I salvage the outer part here okay the metal part and then I buy I go to the trouble I buy a, a brass bushing oil oilless oilless oil something anyways they're oil impregnated brass that's what that is supposedly but anyways if you buy that and then you press it in here well, and you muff something up, and then this, you gotta frig around with it. It won't fit on the shaft no more, and not worth the trouble. <laughs> I tell you that. Yeah, we'll just stick with what we have, and I think what we can get until. Uh, but this is, I, you always have to, when you got a machine that you keep for a while, eh, you always have to think of this as eventually. The parts for these machines are not going to be available anymore, eh? So then you have to dig in and start finding stuff and making do or finding some other way to make it work. Okay, stand by there. I'll show you the finished product <laughs> when I, I'm going to do that at the other side there now. <laughs> the, the bushings, <laughs> the bushings are as smug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> right here, I'll uh, give it a jiggle here. See, there's just, just, just a slight bit of slack. Uh, just, by the way, uh, the grease I put in there, some uh, it's a real expensive stuff. I ha this was uh, given to me by a friend it was gratuitous. <laughs> you can't see it's uh, it's all gone. It was uh, slick. It was high temperature something grease. It was made by Slick Fifty, I believe, and uh, they had uh, some great claim to fame. So, anyways, I stuck that in there, and hopefully this will. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll be able to tell now that I know ores have a bit of maintenance to them. The auger parts and uh, all sorts of other parts. And you got to kind of look at them, eh? But don't be scared. Yeah, take it apart. Take it, you take it slow. And uh, if you took it apart, you should be able to put it back together. <laughs> as long as the parts are available, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, yeah, don't forget Christmas is coming, eh? And you better be good, cause uh, especially this year, we don't know if Santa's be be going by or because of this COVID thing. There, you just passed through. <laughs> so okay, uh, comments are welcome. Mm, uh, like usual, the better ones are yet to come, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.